This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com, and this is a review of the VeryFit 2.0 smartwatch. This is also known as the ID107 SmartBand on GearBest.com. So what you get here is you get <coughs> a typical fitness band that's designed, it's not a, a, a smartwatch in the fact that it has an Android OS and installs apps. It's really designed only to monitor your fitness levels, your sleep tracking, your steps, and give you your heartbeat data. It's really designed for those who just need a really, really simple, elegant smart band that's smooth. It won't rub up against you. You can wear it day and night and not scratch yourself. You can wear it in the shower because it's completely waterproof. I have another video showing that running underwater. I've also showered with it. I've slept with it. I've, I've worn this thing for a good solid nine days now. And I can tell you, out of the two smart bands that I'm reviewing, the ID107 Smart Bracelet, also known as the Very Fit 2.0, is my favorite of the two that I'm reviewing. So what you get here is you get the watch itself or the Smart Band itself, which is just this this little device right here that you can see it's separate, standalone. You can see the little sensor on the bottom; it's blinking because it's looking to register a pulse. And you would put it into the USB charger. It has a dock right here, and you charge it when you get it. Now here's the beauty of this thing. You charge this thing for one hour and you can wear it for five to seven days without needing to charge it again. I've actually worn it until the battery went to dead and it just showed you the little battery symbol. But I got literally about six and a half days off of a single charge. So this isn't a type of a fit band or smartwatch that you have to take off and charge every day or every night, which is inconvenient. You literally can set like a once a week schedule to, char to charge the thing. So that way it's on your wrist most of the time doing the readings that you want it to do, and that's taking your heartbeat in real time, monitoring your steps and things like that. So how it works is as wrist sense turned on in the app, and I'll show you the app in this video, I'll embed it on the side, so you could just merely flick it on, and it stays on for a second, so if you don't tap the screen pretty quick, the display will turn off really fast. That's about one of the only things I wish you could configure. I think the display turns off a little too fast when you wrist flick. So I think if it wrist flicked, you see how it turns on, and then boom, it's off. It turns on, barely enough time to read it, and boom, it's off. So I think for people who are a little slower, like in, in registering numbers or wanting to touch the dial, I wish the wrist flick would leave it on a little more. But if the wrist flick is a little too fast for you, if you press the button on the side, it actually stays on a little longer. That gives you enough time to press the dial on the top, and you can see it's going to read my heartbeat now. Make sure the band is tight when you're going to get a heartbeat read, because it does make a difference if the band is loose. Um, my heart rate is right about... Hmm. It's about right. Um, I've measured it even when I was running, and it got up into the, the high 90s, low 110s when I was doing excessive running. It seems to really, really uh, be good at reading the heartbeat. It's actually better at reading the heartbeat than the other smart I was reading. Of course, this is the beginning of the day, so I don't have a lot of steps recorded on this yet. You can see how it turns off a little fast there. I don't have a little steps recorded on this yet, only 503, but I was averaging between five and 9,000 steps per day. I had my target goal set in the app uh, much higher than that. Uh, right now only 0.22 miles. The watch itself will reset every day the numbers. So if you want like history of your pedometer steps, you have to go to the Very Fit 2.0 app for that because the watch itself will reset the stats every day. And that's calories burned. Um, that's silent alarm. So basically I have it set up so at 6 a.m. my wrist vibrates and my watch wakes me up. That way my phone doesn't make noise. It doesn't wake up my wife sleeping next to me. I really like the silent alarm where it just vibrates your wrist and wakes you up. It works very well if you want to wake up, but you don't want to wake up people in the same room with you. Now, you can't get any sleep data on the watch itself. That's only stored in the Very Fit app, but you can hold the button down for a long period of time and it goes into fitness mode. And so you would do this for when you like want to do a workout or an actual run activity. You're going to want to set the watch in the fitness mode specifically, then go do your workout and then record that data right at the fitness mode. Again, it's not required, but if you want to track like a specific fitness session separately, it's good to hold down the button and put it in the fitness mode. Now, I'm going to show you the Very Fit 2.0 app and some of the features in there. I will tell you this about the smartwatch, that it does not actually sync sleep data with the iPhone right now that I have. They did release an update to the Very Fit 2.0 app, and it syncs the step data, and it shows you your heart rate in real time, but it won't slip the, uh, sync the sleep data. I confirmed that the sleep data syncs on Android, but for my particular uh, iPhone, iPhone, it's not syncing the sleep data. But if you have Android, it shouldn't be an issue. So uh, it, it just depends. Hopefully they'll release an update for that. I believe it's a software thing. It's not a problem with the watch. Again, this is the Very Fit 2.0 smartwatch. I really, really like this watch. I like the display. I like that it's really sensitive to the touch. It's really smooth. Won't scratch anybody. Shows you the time. Uh, the wrist flick is really cool just to see the time real quick. You don't have to take your phone out of your pocket or out of your hip. Again, Very Fit 2.0 smartwatch for under $20. This is a real steal of a smartwatch. Thank you very much.